It's not much of a castle, but for now, the local town playground will have to do for Princess Emily and her brother, Prince Caleb. Emily's dad, now technically King Jeremiah, recently claimed one of the few unassigned pieces of land in the world on behalf of his daughter. Uh, with a child, you definitely don't want to ever tell them they can't be something that they desire to be. And at age six, her frame of reference for the world was to be a princess, and so I told her that she could be. Most dads would have left it at that. But Jeremiah did some research and found that territory known as Bir Tawil, between Egypt and Sudan, was unclaimed by either country. He decided to go there, and earlier this year he planted a flag designed by him and his children. He reckons this gives him a better claim than anyone else. Recently, as the last five or six years, uh, Russia went to the North Pole area and, using a submarine, planted a flag on the seafloor to represent their territorial claims for energy rights there. So uh, the process of uh, planting a flag is uh, sort of the defined method of doing that. Jeremiah seems deadly serious about his plans for the territory. He's hired office space in Washington, D.C. to act as an embassy and says he fully expects Egypt and Sudan to be in touch to discuss official recognition just as soon as Ramadan's over. His daughter Emily is no less ambitious. We're going to help kids in Africa that don't have food. And we're going build to build a garden as big as our land. Holding royal court at home, Emily explains her new nation's flag. Star on the top is my mom. And the three stars on the bottom are me and my brothers, and the crown represents my dad. But despite Emily's regal appearance, it might not come as a surprise to learn that experts in international law are less optimistic about the chances of the new nation of North Sudan. At a basic level, um, he has to be correct in asserting that this is unclaimed land. Uh, that's not obvious to me that he's correct. Beyond that, uh, he has to establish um, effective occupation of this land beyond simply planting a flag or showing up and taking uh, a selfie. There might at least be some consolation for Emily, though. Well, her claim to be a princess, I think, is unassailable. I think any, any little girl who declares herself to be a princess is such, uh, and that's, strictly speaking, uh, as a matter of international law. For now, then, it looks like Emily will remain a princess in exile. But at least that'll give her more time to work on her royal wave.